Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. Do re me, I left off kind of awkwardly at the boss. And I also didn't save any of my progress. So I have played through this entire this entire world. Very very knowledgeable of Do re me Ice World. I was able to really power through it with my high level of knowledge and expertise. Alright, so looks like we're fighting a snowman here. Very, very jolly. Oh boy. Okay, great start. I didn't bring any pants with me. Ooh, this could be a doozy. Once again, no idea what I'm doing. So, I'm gonna have to figure it out. I don't know. It comes, okay. It gets pretty close to me. I'm gonna kinda like. Okay, so that is nothing. <laughs> oh, it, it just. It just slaps me right on the back. Come on, Frosty. You're supposed to be a snowman of the people. I do kind of like the working in of some of the of the music from one of the levels, along with kind of the boss theme for Frosty here. It's kind of like low key Frosty. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Oof, that hitbox is, that is brutal. That is not, that is not a kind, not a kind amount of space, viewers. But you are kind, viewers are kind, and kind people like videos and they subscribe if they haven't. You gotta stay up to date, you wanna get in on the ground floor of this one, ladies and gentlemen, before this channel blows up, you can say you were there first. The d mic clout is very important. You put that on your resume. Alright, when can I... Okay. Oof. I feel like I might want to go get some pants first. The only downside to this game is there's not really a good way to dip back in. If I can't at least make a decent amount of progress, I'm going to pop into one of these earlier levels and see if I can grab myself some pants. Play a little defense. Because defense wins championships. Okay, so it appears that you can hit him at any interval here. Oh man, did not, oh don't you, don't you do it, whoa, 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 that can hurt you? That's, that is turbo lame. All right, we're gonna give it one more shot, then we're gonna get some pants. I'll probably cut away for that. Don't need you seeing me doing old levels. Yeah, this is, this is making me annoy this. All right, Frosty, you're going down. Potentially, not right now, but eventually. Oh man. The hitbox around those gloves is absolutely gigantic. Okay, I'm gonna come back with pants and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, viewers, I'm back. As you can see, I am fully clothed and I'm no longer on a list. So we're gonna go ahead and take a better whack at Frosty here and see if we can beat him off. We'll do our best here. This fight is kind of weird. I don't have any sort of muscle memory for it yet. Also, why does he turn purple when we hit him? Don't quite understand that, but oof. Yeah, this seems kind of rude. Okay. Oh jeez, so grumpy. Looks very it's kind of mischievous. All right, Frosty. I need you to cut it out. Yeah, those hurt you, and that's lame. Oh, I can hit him a bunch here. Ah, no! Yeah, this boss fight is uh, a little tricky. Oh boy. I don't like my odds here. Ugh. Why does that hurt you? I should have come back with more lives. I forgot. Okay. I think I have it, though. feel pretty good about it. And I did find a new way to get quick pants, so... 
All right. I didn't know that there was a save and quit function for levels. I've learned it. So I don't have to be so embarrassed anymore. All right. Oh, that didn't count. I was trying to rapid fire. So it looks like, oh, okay. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I was not ready for that. What on earth is wrong with this game? Okay, so I can't do any damage during that, during that cycle. Oh man. This boss fight is tough, it's like the gosh dang carb magician, all right. So I'm gonna show you something real quick because this is for my benefit and yours, I didn't know this. Let's pop into the this level, for example. This is the snowboarding level, you remember? Two quick pants. Nope, not start. Nope. If you hit select, boom. Save and quit. What do you think of that, viewers, huh? That's a top five pro tip for Do Re Mi. Only the most pro of pro Do Re Mi players would have figured that one out. All right, frosty fight, take seven. We're doing okay. It's not, it's a difficult fight, but at least it's enjoyable because some of the fights early in this one, not my favorite, not great. Okay, so I think that the thing that's able to be damaged is the head. There's not really a good way to like dodge that though. That I, that I can tell. Just gotta really keep shooting him right in the head, I suppose. Yeah, like I don't think you can dodge those. Not that I know of. It's kind of brutal. And that hitbox is, oh boy. <laughs> was not ready for that. Stop it. Oh my gosh, he just, he poked me. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get those pants. Unfortunately, it's taking damages during that fight. When he does the, the snowball flurry, it's hard to, it's hard to dodge. Frosty's got some tricks up his sleeve. Does he, does he have sleeve? He has arms. He's not wearing clothing though. Kind of the prerequisite for sleeves. He could have just sleeves on. But as far as I know, he just has the bucket. All right, let's get serious. Time to really crack down on this one and see if we can thaw this jerk out. I don't like that it gives him a little bit of a grace period right at the beginning though. It's like no no potential. Oh man, you gotta really be on it. There's like no potential to, to get him there. Okay. Oh, I dodged it. Oh my goodness, I did it. Come back here, you jerk. He knows it too. Look at him, he's smirking. He's like, I'm a jerk. I'm a J-U-R-K. I think you just gotta be patient on this one. Oof. I don't know if I can influence the, uh, the RNG for the snowball part. I think if you run at him, you get a better chance of dodging him. No, not the snowballs again. No frosty. Ugh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This episode is probably just gonna be this boss fight. Oh boy. Back to pants. But yeah, I mean this is a this is a great way to do it. I don't know, there's not really a quicker method of pants acquisition, unfortunately. So you gotta kind of do it this way. And they're right here at the beginning, so you can just pop in, get your save and quit going. Head back to uh, this frozen wasteland nightmare that I'm dealing with right now. Such a fun level. I actually don't have any problems with this boss fight. It's kind of annoying, but at least it's not unfair. The Carbon Edition fight was kind of like this, but that one was, Kind of more on the unfair side. I don't know if I necessarily care for it, but 
do re mi does not care if I don't care. It's like, you're gonna, you're gonna take it and you're gonna like it. And one of the things that you gotta make sure you do is you don't make silly mistakes. I think, and I think if you run away from him, that it does benefit you a little bit, because you can kind of impact the, the RNG of the snowballs a little bit. I don't know how many cycles of this I gotta do. Oh yeah, so that, okay, I think I figured it out. Okay, <laughs> the game figured me out very quickly. It's like, oh, you think you, you, think you got it, huh? Well, not, not today. You and Merlin, you definitely don't. Oh, did I do it? Oh, he's looking sad. Did I get him? Oh, I got him. Yes, I murdered a snowman. Sucks to suck. Yippee, I won. Don't I deserve an instrument? He's the mighty snow cone. You don't have one, then what did I waste all my time for? Aren't you a bad guy? No, I just like to mess with people. What an edgelord. The mighty snow cone. The ultimate edgelord. What on earth? Okay. So we don't get an instrument? Really? That's just how the game's gonna handle that. Really? Okay, well. Fire peak it is. We're gonna do one level here. I don't want to shortchange you, but first, a message from Gandalf. Old man, I'm a magician from Fire Peak. Help you with some hints. You can cling to cliffs and climb. Great, how are you supposed to know? Is there gonna be that climbing thing? Well, I know that part. I figured that the latter part out. The latter of the ideas. Huh. <laughs> okay, you're this is old news, old man. I know this already. Thanks. Moving on. I don't know if this might be the last world or the second to last one, I'm not sure. Okay. Everything here looks like death. Those little cavemen, kind of like a, oh, okay. Kind of like a Joe and Mac kind of vibe. Maybe. I remember playing that game when I was a kid one time, my mom and dad were being accosted by the predatory people known as the timeshare. Remember that. How do I get up anywhere? Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Oh, lame. Probably need to use my ladder skills to... Hold on. Can I not? You tell me about making ladders and you don't let me make a gosh dang ladder. How do, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Okay. Well, I gotta find some way to get to that top part. It's a requirement. Okay, I think maybe if I just start up here. Yes. Whoa! Did you see that? You see him boogie coming at me? He's like, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I think not. Oh, what? Get out of here, whatever. Okay, yeah, this, this whole ladder thing is kind of convoluted. It, it seems like it works sometimes, but not all the time, which is kind of annoying. Oh boy, this looks like I'm about to mess this jump up. Who's ready for this? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I did it. I feel like I might need to break. Oh wait, I can just use my ladder. What am I doing? I needed to break these bricks. I did not. Okay. This music is kind of eerie. Whoa! That's a hot, hot, hot. Oh boy. <laughs> Please don't start me from the beginning. Please. Please. Do. Okay. Whew. A little bit of a uh, checkpoint. We like that. All right. Let's let the Great balls of fire. Whoa! Everything is trying to murder us. Pretty uncool game. All right. Just on the outside of your hitbox. Screw you. All right. Now. 
<sighs> That's what I get for running my mouth. Man. Go Ray Me has the exterior of being this cute little kids game, but it is brutal sometimes. I tell you what. I tell you what. It's probably just because of it being, you know, a game from the 1800s, but it is tough. It does not mess around. I'll tell you that. Whoa, no, no. Ugh. Well, at least we've got extra pants. That's good. And ooh, my bubbles cannot penetrate their fire attack. Their fire blast. That's okay. Let's get back to where we to where we belong. Yeah, the the ladder mechanic is kind of weird. Like, I get what they're going for. It just feels strange to me that they would just kind of randomly introduce it in, like, the middle of the world and just be like, hey, this is actually really important and you have to do this or you won't be progressing at all. I find that very strange. All right, so let's slow. Oh, okay. I do really like that burning animation, but it makes me sad for... Madrigal over here. All right. Um, okay, I think we're safe for now. Very good. Whoop. Nope, not today, Busta. All right, now I think the magic. Whoa. This, yeah. All right, hopefully I saved myself enough of a way to get back. Oh boy. I think I did. Ah, gotta go fast. Oh, I, it bonked me into the fire boy. That's rude. All right, now I do have to be careful. Yeah, these levels, this game is not playing around. Not a game for children. This is an adult game, absolutely. Through and through. All right, Pokemon boys. I see those are hedgehogs. I apparently don't know animals. All right. I just want to be done. Okay, whew. We did it. We have a little bit of trauma, but we have escaped mainly. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that boss fight and some new tips and tricks. So I've been Dean Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays. Do re me, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.